Hello members, it's Jack Wheeler, the founder and CEO of 360 Fitness, kind of behind the camera. Uh, you can't uh, see me. Uh, we are going to be going over a little how-to video on our six-week nutrition manual. So you get this uh, when you join one of our six-week programs or if you become one of our full-time members at 360 Fitness straight away. Uh, we use our six-week whole food nutrition program as kind of the first nutrition program uh, before customization. Uh, the reason being is that we want to build foundations, we want to build habits, and we really just want to get ingrained the fundamentals that you need to master to control your body and your health and your kitchen for overall success. So um, I'm going to uh, have a PDF. Uh, you guys can have a digital download of this uh, available to you inside this email and post, uh, but you should also get uh, a a physical copy, a beautiful uh, ring binder, kind of uh, where you can take the nutrition plan with you at the grocery store, cooking your meals, all that fun stuff. So, uh, in in a few minutes, we're gonna go over kind of the whole food nutrition plan uh, step by step. So let's get started. If you guys have any questions, just hit me an email or back to me on uh, this post. Uh, so we first start off by congratulating you on, on starting the program, which is super awesome. Uh, the table of contents is kind of a quick little thing for you to get going onto it. Ooh, let's see if I can zoom. Wonderful. Uh, so we kind of have our welcome and congrats. Uh, we have the rules for the six weeks. We have our weigh and measurement, your success checklist. So things that you need to go over to make sure that your nutrition program is going to be successful before you start rather than kind of just winging it as you go. Uh, we talk about supplements that are synergistic to here and then give you kind of a, a kind of a rundown of what they're for and what they're all about and how they can help you with your nutrition and kind of fill in the gaps uh, on your nutrition needs. Uh, we gave some coupons to get started with them. Uh, we actually have some hit workouts that go uh, not so much with the nutrition, but just hit workouts just to kind of add some value uh, to take them with you. What, might as well have some workouts printed while we're printing these guys. Uh, we talk about the difference of weight loss versus fat loss, uh, kind of what you need to achieve and the summary over the six weeks. Uh, and then we chat about kind of the each week, uh, what reset meals are all about, uh, and then all the recipes broken down for you. So if you guys go into the rules for the six weeks, uh, let's go over the rules real quick. So you need to set two actionable goals at the beginning of each week. Now, actionable goals versus kind of intent tangible goals or actionable goals of you have control over it 100% in your life. So regardless of the outcome, what are the actions that you're going to take towards that goal? So for instance, if, if your you know, tangible goal would be to lose five pounds this week, that's not an actionable goal, right? So if you think really, really hard about losing five pounds, it's not really going to do much for you. But if you commit to say working out three times a week and following your nutrition plans at 90%, that's an actionable goal, things that you have control. And with the desired outcome, it will happen. So do those. Uh, commit to giving 100% each day. Commit to it being at least 90% on the plan. Uh, and then having one to two reset meals a week. Now, reset meals are kind of our spin on a cheat meal. So they're a little bit more scientific focused and a little bit more kind of engineered and designed uh, to keep you on track, but also to give you a little bit more freedom and flexibility to have a social life. So that's two meals a week, which is great. So when you think about it, you're going to have either a reset meal on, a, say, a Wednesday or a Saturday or maybe a Saturday and a Sunday, that kind of stuff. Uh, so these reset meals are, are larger meals. Uh, they're cheat meal kind of things, and they're more of a kind of a lifestyle and social life focused uh, meals. But it's good because it gets you away some processed foods, uh, crap foods, uh, too high calories, that kind of thing. We kind of can just control our cheat meals. And there's a bunch of other science that's going along with it uh, that is actually in your best interest to have these. Uh, so we commit to, to meal prep at least twice a week. Uh, we commit to strength training a minimum three times a week at 360 Fitness. Uh, we commit to cardio activities three times a week for 20 minutes. So cardio activities is just more or less anything that gets your heart rate up. So whether that's going on the treadmill, going on the bike, going on the rowers, or playing basketball, or swimming, uh, going for a hike, jog around the block think of cardio not just as cardio machines but think of cardiovascular exercise so things that are going to get your heart rate up at least three times a week 20 minutes so get outside uh, go for a run get inside the gym go for a run go for a row you know lift weights a little bit faster do something three times a week 20 minutes okay commit to a stretching day uh not a stretching day a stretching routine once a week for 20 minutes so a full body stretch so whether you're watching you know highlights of sports or your favorite sitcom or whatever else at least once a week for 20 minutes crush out a full body stretch uh, commit to not using the scale more than twice a week. This is definitely really, really important. Having the scale dictate your life is the worst thing possible, okay? The scale is only a gauge 
of where we're going and where we need to be. Do not let it control your life. Uh, number eight, commit to following the three, six fitness coaches and advice and trust in the process. So that's kind of included into that rule seven as well. So trust the process. So your weight won't be linear. You won't lose, you know, half a pound perfectly every single day. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. And in the end, it will be down. Okay. So keep going on that one. Commit to drinking a minimum of two liters a day. Uh, if you are working out uh, more than an hour a day, make sure this is about three hours or three liters. Sorry. Uh, commit to limiting alcohol, junk food, and sugary drinks for the six weeks. And that's going forward. Okay, nutrition guidelines, guys. So on your workout days, uh, you get uh, five meals. So you get uh, three larger meals, one snack, and one shake. On your non-workout days, you get three meals, two snacks. Okay, so it's five and five, uh, but we're just going to switch it up. Okay, so on the workout days, you're going to have three larger meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're going to have one snack, whether that's morning or afternoon or right before bed. It's up to you. And you're going to have a post-workout shake. That post-workout shake is optimized to have protein and carbohydrates that is perfect for having you in the best shape possible. On your non-workout days, you don't need to have that carb-protein mix uh, in kind of a liquid form. So you can have your three meals and two snacks. Now, men on this program, uh, add one scoop of protein powder and one ounce of nuts into your daily routine. So you're going to take a look at all this nutrition plan and you're going to add a little bit of calories, okay? Especially proteins and fats on this on this plan. So add one scoop of protein powder a day, whether it's a, a whey protein or a pea protein, uh, and one ounce of nuts. It's up to you on the nuts. Um, but we prefer almonds, uh, walnuts, or cashews, one ounce, okay? Now, this is uh, something your coach will probably have, the way and measure documents, but if you wanted to keep track of it here it's all in there your success checklist so things that you need to kind of get checked off beforehand uh, and during uh, you can rank yourself out of 20 and reflect on the things that you can make better next time and make adjustments we talk about supplements um, now what supplements are is that they're just that they're supplements they are supposed to supplement your main nutrition and they're supposed to just fill in the gaps. So a lot of times you can be eating really, really well, but you're still going to have maybe a deficiency in a certain vitamin or mineral or micronutrients or a combination of the such, especially if you're kind of picky with your foods or it's uh, a certain time of the year where certain vegetables and fruit are out of season. Now, now supplements will fill those gaps. Okay. We really kind of focus on, on three big ones, uh, protein powder, whether it's whey protein or pea protein, it makes sure that you can get your protein intake up enough so you can maintain and building body mass without having to eat so much meat all day or eggs or or uh, vegetable based proteins which can get expensive can get you know time consuming and just it takes a lot of time uh, the protein is very very digestible it has a high bioavailability bioavailability which means that our body processes it really really well and absorbs it and, and does its job really really well uh, per gram which is awesome uh, we have our multivitamins men's and women's that's just kind of a, a standardized vitamin uh, with minerals in there as well to kind of fill in the gaps on micronutrients and mineral deficiency and then omegas. Omegas are an, ascent, uh, an omega oil, uh, and that is a, what's called an essential fatty acid. So especially omega-3, 6, and 9, uh, that's going to help with brain function, uh, bone health, joint support, the the list and list the the list of benefits goes on and on and on uh, when it comes to uh, megas. So those are the main three that you really really focus on: having a protein source, uh, an additive, a protein powder such as whey or a pea protein, a multivitamin, and omega. After that, the rest uh, can be just very very goal specific. So we have some coupons here to get you guys started off on them, uh, whether it's shake packages, protein, vitamins, uh, even the meals and such. Here are some of the hit workouts. Uh, these are high intensity interval workouts. Uh, to, um, they don't have to be you know, Olympic athlete intense, but you have to figure out your intensity. And these are great little 10 to 15 minute workouts you can do at home on your own, at the gym on your own time uh, to get those uh, cardio in, uh, cardio sessions in. And remember, we're looking for you guys to complete three times a week, 20 minute cardio activity. Uh, so whether that is uh, steady state cardio, kind of like walking or running on our treadmill where it's steady uh, or hit style where it's a little bit more up and down uh, with the hit workouts they are all in here for you. We talk about the difference of weight loss and fat loss. Uh, read this, guys, in depth. This is very, very important. So just want to let you know that one pound of muscle and one pound of fat do not have the same qualities and quantities in your body. So read that off here. Uh, we go over the six-week nutrition program a little bit more uh, in depth on week to week. Uh, but here's kind of a, a summary. So for instance, uh, for <laughs> sorry, to kind of make this into uh, an easy way to digest, this six-week plan is science-based science and it's on purpose. So you need to follow it from week to week. This is called a macro cyclical plan. So macro just means big and cycle means cycle. So the six-week program, the entire six weeks from week one to week six 
is a cycle and it's a large cycle so it's a macro cyclical plan now built inside that macro cycle is micro cycles that's each week now those weeks build onto the next one and have synergistic effects onto the next one so you have to follow it from week one to week six don't stay on a week too long don't get off a week too early stay on it for seven days and then another seven another seven and so on so it works well from one to the next for instance, our kickstart week is all about getting your metabolism back on track and getting your macronutrients stabilized. We're going to be, give you a, a whole bunch of, of minerals that you probably haven't had, micronutrients, and we're going to balance your proteins, fats, and carbs here, and more or less just get you back up to baseline. It's kind of like a, what's it's called, a, a kickstart. It's kind of things that kind of just stabilize you and go all the way through. Week two and week five are ignition weeks. Now, this is a, a little bit lighter on the calories, a little bit lighter on the carbohydrates, but with protein increased a little bit and fat stabilized so this will be primarily your fat burning weeks okay now power weeks are week three and week six we increase those carbohydrates back up increase our fats up a little bit and decrease our protein this is more for recovery for strength uh, for performance so this is where you're going to have a lot of your bigger lifts it's going to be kind of where your muscle building happens uh, that kind of thing and your calories go back up to that maintenance style all right so we're going to have two weeks of fat burning two weeks of muscle building and they need to be in there on purpose and then we have our detox week at, de at week four so only one week of detox and this is not a low calorie week, but it is a, a lower digestible volume. And I mean by that is we're going to have a little bit less meats. We're going to have a little bit less starch. We're going to have more fruits, more vegetables, more stews, more smoothies. And we're going to have a ton of minerals and a ton of antioxidants in this week. So we might put on a little bit of water weights here. We might, uh, you know, just feel a little bit bloated for the first time you've done it because you're just going to have a little bit more volume uh, with the liquids. But trust me. At the end of the week, you're going to feel fantastic. You're going to detoxify your body. You're going to detoxify your bloodstream. You're going to help your liver and your kidneys do a little bit better job on their, on their detox processes. And you're going to learn a whole bunch of cool new recipes. Now, this is Reset Meals. Reset Meals, again, is our spin on a cheat meal. But we have a little bit more science focused. Now, if you're in a calorie deficit for too long, your hormones can start to suffer. So hormone production and fluctuations can happen. Plus, your metabolism can lower because you're not giving your body the nutrients and, and the calories that it needs to sustain. And your body is all about homeostasis. And homeostasis is just more or less, I want everything to be equal all the time. The body doesn't like change all that much. So if your body is understanding that you're going to go into a calorie deficit for too long, it's going to start slowing some processes down. Not too much, but a little bit. And that can that can affect weight loss uh, long term so what we do twice a week once to twice a week we throw in a reset meal where it's a, usually a larger calorie meal a more fat dense meal so your body goes oh okay it's not long-term calorie uh, deficiencies it's not long-term calorie deficit you can recharge and reset those hormones to back in production so that's kind of why a reset meal so we're going to do this twice a week uh, reset meals you're going to throw them into your nutrition plan um, on two of your larger meals whenever you want could be on a monday could be on a wednesday could be on a friday could be two back-to-back -back meals on on a saturday sunday it's up to you just once a day uh, twice a week okay read it about it okay guys uh, go in way more in depth than what i'm doing on this video read it read it read it knowledge is power in this game uh, and then we talk about week one kind of what your goal uh, what the main summary is uh, we want you to make goals like i talked about at the beginning for week one and then we have our week two and five here we have our goals we have our week three and six we have our goals we have our week four we have our goals week five week six okay now recipes all the fun stuff so we have our breakfast recipes in here again you're going to follow these and then our men you're just going to add one scoop of protein and one ounce of nuts uh so we're going to do almonds walnuts and cashews or cashews i should say uh and then all the recipes are here guys so you're going to have these breakfasts and now, one thing with our meal plan is that you can choose from any or all of these, okay? So if you really like the sausage breakfast casserole, you can have it all seven days in a row if you want. Uh, it's up to you. So we're going to give you kind of a guideline uh, for the nutrition plan, but choose one of the breakfasts that works good for you. Choose one of the lunch that works good for you. Choose one of the dinners that work good for you. So if you like a cook in bulk and buy in bulk and eat in bulk kind of person, or if you need a new meal plan every day, you can switch it up. Uh, but here is all the recipes for breakfast. And it goes all into the same kind of similar pattern, guys. Again, we won't go over these individually take some time and read this we have our lunches here super awesome tasty recipes our suppers and so on and so forth so simple as that guys you're going to have one of your your 
breakfast each day it depends on whatever breakfast you want you can have one of your lunches each day it depends on whichever one you want one of your dinners one of your snacks and one of your post-workout shakes if it's a workout day or two snacks if it's not a workout day now strength workouts guys not little cardio so when you're lifting weights with a personal trainer at 360 whether it's in the group uh, or whether it's a uh, one-on-one with your personal trainer that's strength okay not just like walking on the block and then we have our vegan ooh, it zoomed out we have our vegan and vegetarian options for breakfast lunch dinner and snacks which is awesome for you guys uh, and then we have a little bit kind of more about what's next okay so that's uh, 15 minutes already but I, I hope that you got a lot out of this 15 minutes and this 15 minutes is going to save you you know 15 months of trial and error okay <laughs> might be a little bit exaggerating but uh, if we can kind of eliminate some question marks on day one that's that's perfect so again guys uh, take a look at this uh, you can download it inside this email or post uh, you can have a digital copy on your phone or your tablet it's about five megabytes so it's super compressed it's really really awesome so you can have it with you wherever you go you can bring it to the grocery store you can bring it uh, out to the restaurant wherever you want um, and then also you get a, a physical copy inside the gym okay this is, video is going way too long guys so I, I hope I kept your attention if you have any questions hit me up good luck guys